see cash and bank yeah. management setup is it is only for the bank purpose cash book yeah. yeah means whatever is your banking transaction cash transaction you don't have to do anything you you just have to pass an entry for the cash but whatever is your banking transaction suppose you are borrowing from a bank you are lending from a bank you are lending to a bank or uh, what you you uh, your bank borrowings are there which is in terms of overdraft current accounts each and everything yeah. you you can maintain in the separate module which we called as a cash and bank module see here we have to go in the cash and bank management module okay this is, this is the separate module in this also if you see the common is there journals is there reports is there set up periodic and inquiries yeah okay so if since you are implementing a new company so you have to create a bank first of all then only you can give a setups okay so because you are implementing an ax with them so first of all you should know there are each and every company will be having a bank a bank account okay mm -hmm. so to create a bank account in the system we have to go in the common bank accounts common bank account there, yeah. there is a tab which we called as a new new is always for creating a this this we called as a general tab this field no yeah. we called it as a general tab in this general tab the, everywhere you will see in each and every module there should be a new edit delete and based on this respective modules they have uh, export to i last time i told you, you know how to export the data in the excel just press control t that is a shortcut yeah, yeah, yeah. control t is the shortcut yeah. or you can uh, export from here also export to microsoft excel so just go in the mark, uh, bank account new for creating a new bank account yeah. routing number whether if you have any number then you can give or unless it's okay then i will give my bank account is jude bank routing number is 12 then there are different type of groups means whether the bank bank is means you can give suppose uh, you have a bank account in the uh suppose you have a bank uh bank account with city bank new york okay yeah, yeah, so yeah, city bank new york is your bank group but you are maintaining a account in australian dollar in city bank in australia yeah your bank account number and bank your bank name will be city bank australia okay but mm -hmm. since city bank australia is a group of city bank which is there in the us us is their head office so yeah. city bank new york is the group so you can give the bank group here you can select here as a city bank new york okay so in the city bank new york it comes city bank india also city bank australia also city bank sri lanka uh, city bank japan like this okay okay so you can uh, give the bank groups over here bank group is compulsory then mm, suppose if you want to maintain this bank account only for 6 months then you can give active from today's date and active to up to whatever you want it's not a compulsory you can keep it as a blank also it's not mandatory okay yeah then bank account status 
the bank account status will be you have to show active for all transaction inactive for new transaction inactive for all transaction means sometimes it happens ki like this bank account we are uh, we don't want to use for old transaction suppose we are re reversing or doing any transaction of which is based means the value date will be suppose i'm uh, today i only i open this account and i want this yeah. to use this bank account from today onwards yeah so if today also if i pass any yesterday entry my this bank account should not get affected so here i can give the bank account status as whether you want this bank account active for all transactions that is if you will do the backdated transaction then also uh, uh, you will you will able to get this bank account or you can give bank account only for new transaction or you can give inactive for all transaction means you have just prepared this bank account and you have kept it you have you are not using this bank account sometimes we open the bank account just for the sake and we are not uh, using those bank accounts no that is for this okay so here i am create um, mentioning all these details and if any credit limit is there for this bank account you can mention it over here no. you are getting me no yeah 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 get yeah. okay. it sorry one thing if you say um, go back to general tab say yeah. bank account status okay bank account status say if you say um, inactive for new transaction mm. and uh, if i say active from today mm. and if you try to post a transaction for tomorrow it won't allow isn't it ah uh, yeah correct inactive for, if you leave this active from today it is blank and say inactive for new transaction what will happen if i will give this inactive for new transaction so see yeah. inactive from tab has got this thing oh got it got it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. thanks okay. thanks yeah and inactive for all transaction also it has got this thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and only or active for all transaction it will give a, it will ask me a date yeah yeah okay got it yeah then if you have the bank uh, if you know the bank swift code and everything you can give it away your swift code you mm -hmm. must be knowing no if i want to transfer a dollar or a euro or australian dollar to some other country then mm -hmm. uh, then my payment will go through swift only so every bank is having their respective swift code so if you if you are having then you can mention it over here this is related yeah. to the bank bank accounts only <coughs> then in the currency management no there are two two different things see one is bank account means where i will where my daily bank transaction will be done and if anything is there it will affect my bank account okay then uh, this is for the reconciliation see reconciliation we are doing we are getting a bank statement from the bank and whatever the actual means any uh, entries we passed we are getting the list of that also so we are reconciling with the actual bank account statement with our books of accounts bank statement so the reconciliation if you want to do any reconciliation you can uh, you can do it over here you have to select a format and all if you if your company is having a specific format you can import that format in the ax and you can do the reconciliation all oh, right okay or oh, that means that means you can download your bank statement and put into a certain format yeah yeah and yeah and then import 
you can okay. do this yeah okay then this is regarding this negotiable instrument the negotiable instrument act is just a banking regulation act where how where it says ki check should be cleared in this this states and all those things so it uh, there is nothing in this collection account discount account you don't have to give anything it is just an extra field of negotiable instrument then the you, if you want to mention an address of a bank you can mention it over here if you yeah, yeah. if you want to uh, mention the no person whom you are contact contacting frequently the name of the person in the bank so you can give it over here and if you yeah, have yeah. the financial dimension that this bank account should be go to this 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 department cost center or used by this this department cost center expense purpose and all item so you can give it over here okay this is done so th this is how you create a bank account okay yep and this is for the account reconciliation which we saw and this is balance control system means if any balance is there you can see it over here what is the balance lying in this bank account see it is saying because we have just created so balance is zero okay and if you are making any payment and all it will show ki like this amount you have to made a payment karke okay and if you want to see any transactions the list of transactions in this bank account you can see it over here yeah okay? and if any after doing a reconciliation if you want to see how many transactions i have done a reconciliation you can get a, a list of reconciled entries also here here you can get what whatever is the remaining that is the unreconciled transaction you can get it over here yeah okay then if you uh, just now i said you know like i can import a, a bank statement format in my ax system that i can do through yeah. this attachment so where do where you can do huh yeah 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 here we can do attachment ah, okay from, from where do you import uh, transactions with it we as uh, our bank will be sending a soft copy uh, to us bank statement yeah so that bank statement i can attach i can make an attachment and import that attachment in the system in the ax system. Ah, okay, okay. so ax system yeah, yeah, yeah. has that capability that it will convert in their format and do the reconciliation ah okay so yeah. uh, this is related to the cash and bank management mm -hmm. i will